2K Sports pregame show. Okay, basketball fans, with me, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, I'm Ernie Johnson. You're watching 2K Sports, but you know that already. And tonight, it'll be the Houston Rockets going up against the Dallas Mavericks. For Dallas, facing an excellent team on hostile ground, they'll need to play a complete game, start to finish. We'll see if they can pull off the upset. Tonight, we'll get to see James Harden. We know how he can dominate uh, and how he can be on offense. Mm. Uh, and Kenny, a lot of that has to do with his ability to get to the free throw line. Mm, I agree. He keeps defenders off balance. You know, he's able to put his body into players and able to draw fouls. Nearly impossible to stop when his shot is falling. You know, speaking about it, he remade his body to become quicker, Kenny. Really? And he doesn't get enough credit for how smart he is. Two plus two is five, baby. Oh. Hey, you know who, uh, who I, I like to quote when it comes to free throw shooting and getting to the line? Shaq? No. Oh. Dick Versace. Remember the co old coach oh, yeah. Dick Versace? I remember. What did he say? That, that's how you say his last name? Dick Versace. Yeah. Versace, what? I thought it was Versace. No, no it's Versace. That, that's another one. But okay, Dick, Versace, Dick Versace used to call free throw shooting the NBA's hidden way to score. People wow. don't think about it. But, yeah, you mm. get to the line, point totals add up. I, it wasn't it's the it hidden wasn't, way to score. It wasn't undercover. Sure it's not Versace? I think it was. I'm pretty sure. He has a clothing line, right? Rockets here at home in this Western Conference matchup live here in Houston. It's Wednesday Night Basketball live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. The Mavericks looking for a strong start to this road trip. Well, it's been an improvement this year over last season. They made a lot of adjustments and happy to see that they translate into some tangible results. And it's in your DNA. You come up against a natural rival, you're going to be a little bit salty. You know, that's what makes these games great. I mean, no love lost between these two squads. It's great competition with a little animus sprinkled in there. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sideline. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Hey, Kev. Well, Rick Carlisle is a coaching graybeard. He's entering his second decade as coach of the Mavericks. He led them to the franchise's first and only title in 2011. Now, Eric Spolstra lost that series to Carlisle, and he says of him, he's a Hall of Famer, a trailblazer as president of the Coaches Association. We all owe him a great deal. Kevin? He is a legend. Thank you, D.A. And for teams not enjoying a quick start to the season, Clark, how long until they start to push the panic button and making some big moves? You know, Kevin, I don't think you ever can push the panic button. I think you have to have a sense of what direction you're going, be realistic about who you are and what you have. And that's where good leadership comes in, not just with the team itself, from the coaches to the players, but in your front office, too. I mean, you've got to have some flexibility to adjust to the length of the season and challenges of it and yet still stay on course with your overall plan. So Dallas will get the first possession. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. On the floor for Dallas, Smith at point and Doncic next to him. DeAndre Jordan is out there with Powell, and it's Barnes and at the small forward. And he's capable of scoring from anywhere, really. Doncic has a strong grasp here of the mid-range. Outside Anthony. Offline with his three. Now the Mavericks with it. Out of bounds, Houston takes possession. And so it's Houston with it. Harden kicks to Anthony. It's good, the assist that time from Harden. Hey, we know Harden can score, but he also has great vision. 
Smith surveying the D. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And though some were skeptical of the contract Harrison Barnes signed, he's lived up to it. Not an elite player yet, but is emerging on a franchise caliber level and continues to improve and is strong and consistent really on both ends of the floor. And Greg with Barnes, beyond what he does on the floor, he does everything right off the floor. Yeah, I mean, this organization just loves his intangibles and demeanor as a leader. Incredible work ethic that allows him to keep refining his game. Still very young and is growing into the player this team hoped he'd be. Yeah, you got to respect the athletic reach of Jordan now. Throw it up, and he will bash in the alley-oop. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour Hover Havoc. Now here's Anthony. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against the Wizards in Washington. Boy, he shows a lot of desire when he's fighting for that tough board. And his length doesn't hurt either. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. Smith kicks to Powell. Shot from 12. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. An almost perfect start to this game. Four for five. They're rolling. The Rockets have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Harden with it. He's picked up by Doncic. Harden outside. Chris pass to Capella. Six on the shot clock. From deep Harden. Can't hit that one. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Rockets team. Yeah, two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. Yeah, plenty of opportunity here, guys, to get on each other's bad side. I mean, if they weren't already. Should make for some fairly high drama. Here is Harden. After Luka Doncic's bucket, Paul kicks to Harden. Shot to stop the run, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Luka Doncic. Hey, Harden is seeking contact. He is hunting bodies when he drives. He's so good at just getting his body into the path of the defense. Two shots. Free throw drops for Harden. And you look at James Harden, coach Mike D'Antoni in the Rocket front office, it really does seem like a match made in heaven. Yeah, I think the alignment of the front office and coaching staff really in harmony. And a star in Harden who's the best in the world at delivering in that system. Chris Paul part of the mix too. That's a pretty good fit it looks like to me. That one misses. You know, what's most impressive about Harden to me is his versatility as a scorer. I mean, he's a remarkable combo guard with great size and strength and very efficient on the offensive end. Now here's Harden. Coming off a solid outing against Washington. Paul against Smith. Paul kicks to Harden. The Rockets again can't hit. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one falling. Pass to Barnes. Good work defensively by Anthony. Well, that's a devastating miss there. You got to convert on these easy layups deep inside. And Chris throws it down. And once Chris gets the position he wants, he is throwing it down with a vengeance. That's tipped. Smith against Paul. Here's Smith. Boy, he was something else against Boston. And Capella sends it back. This is the real strength of Capella's game now. Outstanding at using his length and athleticism to block shots. 
Harden. That's good. And scoring the ball comes easily and naturally to him. He's a versatile player at the offensive end. Mavericks leading by three. Smith kicks to Barnes. Rebounded by Capella. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Exactly. Can't play it any better than that, Greg. A highlight reel play all the way just can't connect. I thought the pass looked good and just came up a skosh short, but I like the initiative and the intention. But they'll get another chance. And it's Smith again missing. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the quarter. Capella dishes to Paul. Shot clock at six. Harden inside the three-point line. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Harden's got five points so far. I mean, it's hard not to appreciate Harden because he's the complete package. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. You look at the Rockets, right there in fifth position, middle of the pack in the conference. And, of course, the Mavericks, five and a half games behind. And I think for the Rockets, this hasn't been the breakout season that many were predicting, but they're still very much in the hunt for a high postseason seed, and that will keep them focused here during the season's final stages. And they need to stay focused. I mean, they have to ensure they hang on to a high seed. It's imperative for them. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Kevin, I like how hard Barnes goes now. I mean, takes pride in trying to overpower the defense and muscling shots up over him. And the Mavericks making a change here. Barea's checked in. That's good from Barnes. And for the Dallas Mavericks last year, hard to get in transition when you can't cause turnovers. Well, when you don't get steals and open court situations, it's hard to get easy buckets. But on the other side, they handled the ball well, didn't turn it over. Actually, fewest turnovers in the league. But I do think they have to become more disruptive defensively. And I'm not really sure that's the time for the fadeaway, but he sure can make it count. Anjic passes to Jordan. And here's Berea. It's stolen by Anthony. And now Anthony pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And it's Anthony with the jam. Carmelo Anthony imposing his will inside. Doesn't take any time. Rising up for the dunk. Barnes outside. Goes up on the wing. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Capella's got his fourth rebound in this one. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Bucket is good. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Ball against Berea. And there's the pass to Powell. He kicks it to Barnes. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And for Harrison Barnes, the scoring forward out of UNC, said he wants to model his game, Clark, after Paul Pierce. Hey, that's not a bad guy to look to model your game after, boy. Paul Pierce knew how to get it done, and he wasn't overly athletic, but he knew how to play angles. He could get to his spots. And he was such a great mid-range shooter who developed into a consistent three-point threat as well. So I like that comparison or that aspiration for Harrison Barnes. The first one falls. And you got to appreciate the overall game of Barnes. He's efficient as a scorer and also works hard at the defensive end. Houston with a big group substitution here. 
Nene, he's checked in for Capella. P.J. Tucker comes in for Chris. Green, he's checked in for Anthony. And it's Gordon in for James Harden. And then for Dallas. Measury, he's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Maxi Kleba comes in for Dwight Powell. And Wesley Matthews subbed in for Doncic. Hey, Clark, which players, and veterans in particular, do you think have done a great job of adapting their games to remain effective? Yeah, you know, these lists are pretty long, but I think of Sean Livingston. Remarkable talent, went through some injuries and has found a home at Golden State. Trevor Ariza has been a terrific role player on a couple of teams in his career. Impact player at both ends. You think about Paul Millsap, a guy who has been able to transition to a couple of different teams and provide leadership and great production. So those guys come to mind. Now, here's Measury. His last outing, he had eight points. Barnes with it. Now Green defending. And Matthews gets it to go in on the assist by Barnes. Matthews has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Green against Barnes. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And that's a tough one. But on those illegal screen calls, the defender's never going to get the benefit of the doubt. Those are facts, man. I mean, if he's sliding his feet just a skosh, the refs are going to whistle him for it. They get a hand on it. And here we go. Fast break. Paul's got it. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Really a strong move that time to the hoop to force the defense's hand. Chris Paul knowing he was going to either get the bucket, the foul, or both. This is his first free throw of the game. Two shots. And the first one drops. You know, it's funny, guys. I'm still not sure that Chris Paul gets enough credit for just how special he is as a player. I'm not sure why that is. I mean... Very few players in league history have been able to impact the game at both ends of the floor at his elite level. And so Paul nails both of them. And you look at Chris Paul's numbers. They stack up to any point guard that's ever played the game. Clark, what do you think is the most underrated part of Chris Paul's game? Well, I would think it would be his defense and his perimeter shooting. I don't think he gets the credit for being the perimeter shooter he is, but defense would stand out to me. And that one's good, Barnes. Barnes has got 10 points in the game. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Gordon. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Man, this thing is just going back and forth tonight. Yeah, it's been a seesaw battle right now. I mean, as soon as one team grabs the lead, the other grabs it right back. Down low. Tucker finds Gordon. Paul outside. Fires from deep. Connects from three-point range. And now a four-point rocket lead. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for Houston. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on this player has caught him off guard. He's playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnover. And a quick look at the numbers for Paul. Second in assists, sixth in free throw percentage. And he's a defensive ball hawk. You can't let your guard down. Remember, he's 10th in the league in steals per game. And going back to him being second in assist, it's his ability to control the pace of the game, his peripheral vision. That makes him such a great floor leader. Now, here's Berea. He picked up 15 points in their last win against Boston. And the basket good by Mejri. And it's just been an avalanche of points here in the early going. Yeah, you know, both teams scoring at a really steady clip. If you like good offense, you've come to the right spot. This is your game. That's what they want. A good look from the mid-range game? Hey, but unfortunately, they came up empty. Gordon against Matthews. Takes the three. A shot, no good. And Houston the other way now. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. 
And that was not an easy game for them. I mean, they barely hung on at the end of regulation before they were able to pull it out in overtime. And it could turn out to be one of their biggest wins of the season. I mean, just because of the way they came through when it mattered most, that's, that's clutch play that could serve them well going forward. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Well, and that's exactly how the game is played in the paint inside, guys. I mean, if you can play over the top, I think you've got a big advantage. Here's Barnes following the score by Houston. He gets it in there. Barnes has got 12. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Green kicks to Paul. Here's the floater. He lays it in. He's got 11. He's been turned up this quarter, showing a lot of confidence and sinking a lot of his shots. Pass to Berea from past the arc. The Rockets pull it in. Green taking his time here. And Maxi Kleba is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. And as he's checked in for Gerald Green. James Ennis. Here's Nene. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Now, here's Tucker. He's guarded closely. Can't connect from 13 feet out. They play the clock right, then go two for one. Just got to time it up right. And that one drops for him. Matthews has got his second bucket of the game to go. Boy, the muscle and strength of Matthews. Really impressive, Kevin. Great at scoring even while getting bodied up by the defense. Now here's Paul. He's coming off a 22-point game against the Wizards in Washington. And made a big mark at the free throw line as well. He got himself to the strike a lot and cashed in when he had his chances. And so it's Ennis bringing it up now for Houston. To the middle. Kicks it out to Gordon. Passes it to Paul. Shoots over Berea. The Rockets again can't hit. A big time effort for Chris Paul, providing a lot of energy for the Houston Rockets. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We come back right after this. And the Rockets came close, but Chris Paul still convinced this team has what it takes to win a title. I'm in the wrong business if I didn't think we could win a title. I think we still got a lot of ways to go. We got a lot of work to do, but that's the fun thing about it right now is to know that we're not there. And his ability to stay positive, Greg, and, and stay at it, so admirable. Yeah, and one of the best point guards of all time. You know he's hungry to break through and win a championship. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And looking at what we've seen from Houston, what do you guys think? I mean, an interesting first quarter. The, the pressure D seems to be causing a lot of turnovers. Just jumped all over them, Greg. I mean, pounced on them, using their length and quickness to come away with those steals. Paul and Gordon are the backcourt pair. E.J. Tucker is out there with Nene, and it's Ennis in at the threesome. That's the five for Houston right now. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, the Mavericks were ecstatic when Dennis Smith Jr. fell to them with the ninth pick of the 2017 draft. For a team in need of athleticism and size at the point guard, it's been a hand-in-glove fit. The 6'3 Smith has a 48-inch vertical, one of the highest ever measured. A terrific young player, an elite NBA athlete. David, that's for sure. Good stuff, thanks. And so it's Houston with it, following the score by Dallas. Now, here's Tucker. He's covered by Matthews. Clock at four. Tucker can't get it to go. You know, he can be a little hesitant near the rim. We saw it there. If the defense offers just a little bit of resistance, he doesn't take it up quite strong enough. Matthews, and it's blocked by Gordon. And he gets it back. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Houston. On Friday, they'll be matching up against Eric Bledsoe and the San Antonio Spurs. And then on Saturday, the Chicago Bulls come into town, tipping off a homestand for them. 
you know, some might look ahead at the schedule and start marking off how many wins they'll wind up with. But I think that's a trap. You can't take any nights off in the NBA, and you've got to stay in the moment. The first free throw is good. And, you know, Wes Matthews still a very talented player in this league. I mean, excellent presence on both ends of the floor. And he certainly has always been a solid defender on the wing. James Harden, he's checked in for Paul. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Dallas. Anjic comes in for Harrison Barnes. And it's tied up with that one. Yeah, you know, Wesley Matthews has made himself an efficient scorer who also has gained a reputation as a good defender. Harden dishes to Gordon. Pass to Nene over Jordan. And Nene gets it to go on the assist by Eric Gordon. And the Rockets lead by two. The Mavericks have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And for Matthews, he prides himself on being a two-way player. And, you know, his three-point shooting percentage might not be that impressive, but given the volume of threes he takes, pretty solid. Um, he's a terrific character guy, hardworking, always engaged. Uh, and he doesn't need to have the ball to stay involved. I mean, this guy's never going to be a star, but he's going to be one of those guys that always adds value to a team. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. Gordon has a fast release. Got to be up on him at all times. I mean, he's excellent shooting off the dribble. And here's Smith after Eric Gordon hit the three. And stolen by Gordon. Down low. It's up a three. It's hauled in by DeAndre Jordan. Jordan's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Matthews passes to Doncic. Dallas moving the ball around. Smith no good. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. Harden finds Tucker. Now here's Gordon. Back to Tucker. And stolen by Jordan. Doncic passes to Smith. Now Doncic. Smith outside. And the rejection by Harden. They grab their own miss. Excellent concentration from the deep. Intimidated the shooter, bothered him, distracted him, and made him think twice as he went in for that layup. Now here's Gordon. The Rockets again can't hit. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Over in the corner, Doncic. Dallas, no good that time either. Houston leading by five. From deep, Harden. Good on the triple. Harden's got his third basket of the night right there. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync. Tremendous communication and awareness. And the Mavericks call time here. So for the Rockets. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Nene. Chris comes in for P.J. Tucker. And Anthony's subbed in for Gordon. And Dallas with a change here, too. Powell, he's checked in for Salah Measure. Now here's Powell. No points in the game yet for him. Drops in the tray. An effective floor spacer, Matthews. Certainly a guy that can really light it up from downtown. Ennis kicks to Harden. Back to Ennis. And the pass to Harden. It's good. The assist that time for Ennis. And that's 10 points for James Harden. Hey, and when guys at this level are that close to the basket, they ain't missing. I mean, especially when there's no defense in the neighborhood. Smith, no luck. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Rockets. Seven-point differential. Excellent defense there from Smith. Dallas has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Yeah, that's just poor decision-making. He's got to be better in those situations. Greg, I just think he was in a hurry. He flat-out rushed it. I mean... I don't know what he was thinking there. He actually was in a brain-neutral position. Now here's Anthony following the miss by Wesley Matthews. 
Capella with the bucket. When Capella plays with force inside, watch out. I like his intensity. Harden against Smith. Over in the corner, Doncic. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Pushing their lead to double digits. And it's an 11-point Houston lead. Yeah, and he's connecting on a lot of his shots here, shooting a high percentage from the field, really giving his team a boost. Dishes it to Jordan. Here's the floater, and Doncic lays it in. Doncic has got six points. And already in his career, Doncic displays a remarkable amount of pro moves, including that floater right there. Now here's Harden. He's got 12. For the three. He can't get that one. Mavericks trail by nine. Matthews scanning the floor. To the middle. Jordan finds Smith. Five to shoot. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that Good one to go with all the contact. It's going to be on James Hart. Well, Dennis Smith Jr., one of the scariest players to see coming at you down the lane, Clark. Uh, he can just wreck the rim. <laughs> oh, big time, Kevin. Not only does he finish hard, he does so violently and with some anger attached to it. The kind of dunks where you're worried if defenders are going to get hurt trying to challenge him. This guy is explosive. No surprise he was in the dunk contest last season, and I don't think that's going to be his first invite. And he knocks down the first one. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Houston making a switch here. Green's checked in. And Dallas also making a switch. Berea's checked in. Smith hits them both. You know, you look at most winning teams in this league, and there's no denying they have an identity, who they are and how they play consistently. The Rockets fall into that category, a defined style of play and pieces that fit pretty well. Now, here is Harden. 12 points for him. I'm not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Smith against Harden. Smith drives in, and it's good two points. Smith's got four this quarter. And Clark, talk about the Rockets' identity, their, their, their style of play. Yeah, it's all about the analytics, quite honestly. They're looking for drives and three-point field goals. Constant pressure on the defense. The long-range ball spaces the floor. And defensively, they're going to try to switch and keep the ball in front and deny the same three-pointers they're looking for at their offensive end from the opposition. And James Harden, last season's MVP, the runner-up in 2015, actually won the player's vote for MVP that season. But last season, he took home the official hardware. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. We throw good, James Harden. And with James Harden winning the MVP in 2018, Russell Westbrook in 2017, Kevin Durant in 2014, uh, you think a few what-ifs right now in Oklahoma City? <laughs> a few more than that, Kevin. I mean, probably tough for them all to win MVP playing on one team. A good shot at a different trophy, though, maybe the one that starts with the name of Larry. Mark, when you played some tremendous talent at the forward position, as you go back in your Rolodex, who was the toughest matchup for you? Well, I look at some of the names of guys that I played against. Uh, Mark Aguirre, Larry Bird, obviously Kevin McHale in Boston. Uh, Calvin Nett was terrific with Portland at the time. Marcus Johnson in Milwaukee. Bernard King in New York probably was the toughest guy I had to deal with because he was such an animal and beast as a scorer and was relentless in his movement without the ball. He was probably the hardest guy I had to check. Or some great names there. Yeah, big-time scores at that forward position. 
And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Mavericks. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnover. Something else they've done right so far from the get-go tonight is, is run. I mean, so much of their offense has come off the fast break. And here's Berea. James Harden getting it to go from deep. Berea with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Great D that time from Green. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Pass to Chris. Trying to find Harden. And he's got it now. And it's in there. And now an eight-point rocket lead. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Harden against Smith. Yep, that one goes. Smith's got eight points in the quarter. He's really starting to ramp it up now, getting involved in the offense here after being held without a point in the first. Capella kicks to Green. And it's blocked by Jordan. Hey, get that weak stuff out of here. Take it home. Jordan is fantastic at rejecting those kinds of shots. Green with the block. And they're able to recover. Here's Smith. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now, here's Capella. He had 10 points in the win against the Wizards in Washington. Yeah, but you can't talk about his performance without mentioning what he did defensively in terms of shot blocking. He was a force of nature. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. That'll be his second foul of the game. Paul's checked in for the Rockets. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Barnes comes in for Smith. One thirty-five left in the first half of basketball. Six to shoot. And that one drops for him. Eight points for Luka Doncic. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Chris can't hit. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think they need to continue to press that advantage. They've got to get back to that. Don't go away from that. It's been working so well for them. Stay with it. Now here's Anthony. Harrison Barnes missing his last shot. Outside Anthony. And he uses the glass on the layup. Anthony's got his third basket of the night. And love the muscle Anthony brings to the three spot. Takes pride in outworking everyone when he's that deep inside. Now here's Berea. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Kleba kicks to Barnes. Buries the long-range jumper. Decision-making of Barnes is really solid. Knows he has the green light to fire as soon as he catches the pass, and that's what he does. And here is Green. His last outing, he had eight points. Pass to Paul. Over Berea. And no good. Trying to use the glass. James Harden getting it done for Houston. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Rick, what's your analysis of how your defense has done so far? Well, they're getting too many open looks at threes. We're lucky they're missing a few. Uh, but, you know, with this team, they stretch you out so much, you got to be really alert and you got to pay close attention to the details. Rick, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The 2K Sports Halftime Show.
Hi again, everyone. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the Diesel and the Jet. Welcome to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. James Harden led the way in the first half. He ended up with 19 points, two assists, and three rebounds. His great performance last game out seemed to carry right over into tonight. Kenny, what'd you think about the Rockets? Well, I thought that turning point was when the bench came in. Those guys really hustled, and they gave the team some energy, and then they started to score baskets. That was a bonus. And looking at Dallas, Shaq, your thoughts? Well, as we know, it's always a good idea to pound the ball into the paint. So many defensive game plans are focused just on stopping the three. When you hurt a team down low, they got to react. That allows you to play inside out. Trust me, I have the blueprint. I own the blueprint. I created the blueprint. Inside, kick it back out, shoot the three. Rick Fox, B. Shaw, and Big Shot, Bob for three. Ah, the crowd go crazy. I know you remember that, Ernie. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. And through the first two periods, it seemed he got to the paint whenever he wanted to. Just a slasher's mentality. Yeah, you know, good things happen when he cuts to the rim, Greg, and you cut into the heart of the defense like that, makes things easy. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Well, you know, one of the things about Mike D'Antoni is that he's an excellent offensive mind, but he gives his players so much confidence. His defensive reputation is not as strong, but with the Rockets last season, they actually were a lockdown team at times. D'Antoni answering those critics about not being a defensive-minded coach. Here's who Rick Carlisle is starting the second half with. On the wings, it's Doncic and Barnes. Jordan is out there with Powell, and it's Smith in at the point guard. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play, sponsored by Under Armour Hover Habit. And D'Antoni back in the catbird seat after some difficult seasons with the Knicks and the Lakers. Yeah, I love Mike D'Antoni. Love how he comments and interacts with the media and how he handles his team. He's got a team committed to shooting the long ball, and he gives his players a lot of freedom and confidence. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he was just as dominant. Yeah, I concur. I mean, definitely on the roll right now. Seems like everything he's throwing up is going down. Here's Barnes. James Harden picking up that last basket. Anthony on the double team, and we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And so it's Dallas with it. Smith the pass to Doncic. Back to Smith. Great communication on the alley-oop. Smith's got it all tied up now for the Mavs. And how about the vision there from Doncic can make the easy pass and also the difficult. Over in the corner, Paul. Outside Anthony. Kicks to Capella. Paul for three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Barnes has got rebound number seven for him tonight. The shot's good from Smith. Up and in on every one of their first three shots to start the second half. And it's Harden with the ball for Houston. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. And the shot is long. The Mavericks have gone three of three from the field since halftime. Barnes looking around. Not going to go that time. Anthony with the defensive effort. Poke loose. Now, here is Harden. Defense right on him. Chris gets the bucket. And it's crucial that Chris makes that shot. Big men like him are expected to possess an outside jumper nowadays. Now, here's Doncic. Eight points for him. And Capella sends it back. 
Hall with the ball. He's picked up by Jordan. To the paint. Here's Powell. And he drops it in from the low post. Powell's got five points so far. Dwight Powell really showing continuing confidence in his inside game. And I think he's only going to get better down there. From deep Harden. And it's Marquise Chris with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Houston making some changes. Nene, he's checked in for Capella. P.J. Tucker comes in for Marquise Chris. And Eric Gordon subbed in for Carmelo Anthony. Then for the Mavericks, Mejuri comes in for DeAndre Jordan. And Wesley Matthews subbed in for Doncic. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. And Matthews kicks to Smith. Misses the three. And you know, even with him struggling, they're still up. But they need him to find his rhythm soon. Down low. And too much time in the three. lane. They get called for the three-second violation. A chance here to take a look at where the Mavericks rank in the NBA currently. And their gift for offensive rebounding definitely evident in all those second chance points. The two go hand in hand. Make no mistake, if you don't box out, you're going to pay. The Mavericks have gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. Outside Matthews. Yep, it counts. 12 points for him. Pockets trail by three. You know, management for the Dallas Mavericks came right out and said they did not want to enter a rebuild phase. You know, sometimes we don't get exactly what we want, and two subpar years in a row certainly changed things for the Mavs. Obviously, I mean, it would go a long way if he's making his shots. Right now, they're behind, and they certainly could use his help. Here's Barnes, and another basket for Dallas. Barnes taking over on offense, Kevin. He's feeling like, hey, nobody on defense can handle me. Sensational. Now here's Gordon. Nine points in the game so far. On the wing, Harden. He's covered by Matthews. Down to five on the shot clock. And Tucker kicks to Gordon. Harden inside the three-point line. Hits the front of the rim and out. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Powell finds Smith. Bucket is good. Smith's got 14 points for the game. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. On the wing, Harden. Nene outside. And there's the call on measure. That's his first foul. And as he's checked in for Paul. James Ennis. Gordon against Barnes. They could use a bucket. Pass to Tucker. Goes back up, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. Dallas leading by seven. The pass to Powell, and it's good. Two points. Timeout, timeout. Powell's got seven points for the quarter. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Yeah, he, he's got to make some adjustments here. Just too easy to score in the lane against them right now. Yeah, there's no reason why they should be scoring at will down there easily as they have. I mean, they've got to be more aggressive inside. J.J. Barea has checked in for Smith. And taking a look now at stats for Barnes, really been a key contributor over the past month. Averaging about 22 points per, five rebounds, and two assists. And, and you know, pretty terrific numbers across the board. Yeah, so many books in his library, he lights up the scoreboard on a nightly basis. Now, here's Tucker to the inside. Got a hand on it. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. 
Greg, simply controlling the glass. I mean, plus 10 is the advantage in rebounds right now. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut to just seven on the basket from the name. And here are the Mavericks now. They're on a 17 to seven run. Pass to Powell. He kicks to Matthews. Over Gordon. Matthews, no good. Take what's available. Use the fadeaway when the defender's there on. Here's Harden. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. He just exudes a love of the game, guys. You can see it in everything he does. This guy lives and breathes the game. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Mavericks. Guys, their play close to the hoop has been great all game. Yeah, but also give them credit for the layups they've had tonight after strong drives to the basket. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Free throw good, James Harden. You know, in recent years, the Rockets have not lacked for critics. I mean, they're a jump shooting team. They're a bean counting front office. A coach whose teams don't defend. Last season, I think, silenced a lot of those critics. Oh, and here comes Ennis all alone. And Ennis slams it in. <laughs> well, I like that he shows no hesitation there. Well, that's as easy as it gets, quite honestly. Riding solo and coasting all the way to the rack. No simpler than that. Now here's Barnes. He's got 19. Uses the glass to drop it in. Barnes has got 21. And Clark, it all seemed to come together for the Rockets last season. What was the key in your estimation? I think you've got to look right at the addition of Chris Paul, reducing the workload on James Harden, more defensive-minded wings, also the development of Clint Capella. When you factor those things in, you get 65 wins during the regular season for the Rockets. Now here's Matthews. Harden missing his last shot. It's blocked. And it's out of bounds to the Mavericks as Dallas retains possession. And the Rockets making a change here. Green's checked in. Barnes passes to Kleba. Shoots over Tucker. The kick out to Barnes. Shot clock at five. Beyond the arc. A three-pointer is right on target. Barnes has got seven now in this quarter. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. And now's the time for them to step on the gas pedal. Don't let up. Keep letting it fly from deep and build that lead. Play through the finish line, not to it. Keep the pressure on. Yep, it goes. And the Dallas lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Gordon. Now, here's Berea. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And the foul on Harden. That's foul number two for him. Clint Capella, he's checked in for the Rockets. Here's Kleba, guarded by Nene. Passes to Mejri. Kleba kicks to Matthews. Five on the clock. Shoots the three. The Rockets pull it in. Capella's got six rebounds in the game. And it's Gordon missing. And so it's Matthews with it, bringing it up now for Dallas. The dish to Berea. Barnes outside. The three. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And now let's turn to the 2K leaderboard for a look at the squads that have the most points in transition over the past 10 games. Fifth best, the Rockets. I mean, tough to maintain this kind of pace over an entire season. But let me tell you, they are really running right now. Harden scanning the floor. Hits the three-point bomb. Harden's got eight here in the quarter. 
watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Berea finds Barnes. Over Gordon. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Um, the defense was less than impressive there, but despite them not really contesting that shot, he still bricked it. There's Green with the three. The shot, no good. Dallas has gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Barnes dishes to Matthews. Kicks it to Berea. Green against Matthews. And again, Dallas turns it over. Statistically speaking, let's see where the Rockets sit right now. And you mentioned their free throw shooting. Not a team you can get careless with defensively. They make you pay. Sealing games at the line. Rockets trail. Al Harden. 27 points for him. Nene outside. 132 left in the third quarter. For the tie. And Harden lays it in. Harden's got the game tied up here for the Rockets. Even when you think you have Harden pinned up, he still gets a shot past you. Incredibly creative. And, you know, we've seen what Rick Carlisle can do on the court. He's a former coach of the year in the league and led the Mavs to a championship back in 2011. But his off-the-court talent are also very impressive. And the Mavericks call time here. Houston making some changes. Chris comes in for Nene. And Carmelo Anthony is subbed in for Eric Gordon. Then for the Mavericks, DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Maxi Kleba. And Doncic is subbed in for Wesley Matthews. Now here's Jordan. He's got eight. Barnes outside over Anthony. But they get it back. Now, here's Doncic, guarded by Harden. Offensive rebound, and Capella sends it back. Harden outside for the lead. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Anthony's got five assists tonight. Great basketball from him, Kevin. A commanding performance, helping add to the lead this quarter. Now, here's Berea. No points in the game yet for him. Barnes with it. Now, Anthony defending to stop the run. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan very efficient in the paint because of his length. Close to the bucket, he's hard to deal with. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Harden against Berea. Now, here is Harden. Defense right on him. Six to shoot. Houston needs to get a shot up. Green fires from way outside. Can't drop the tough three-pointer. James Harden getting it done for Houston. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. We'll return shortly. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, platinum level dime dropping there, fellas. Accurate and on time. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. We've got Anthony, Paul out there with Green, and there's Chris, and it's Capella in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the five for Houston right now. Now, here's Doncic. Smith outside. Barnes against Anthony. Snatched up. Here's Jordan. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. And, Greg, it's clearly been their edge. And in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. 
Now, here's Doncic, following the miss by Carmelo Anthony. Doncic with it. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And how about the balance of Doncic on that possession? Amazing at just absorbing the contact and still with the strength to finish. Dwight Powell's checked in for the Mavericks. One shot. That free throw good from Doncic. And looking at Luka Doncic, uh, incredibly mature for his age. Physically, the broad shoulders weighing in about 230. Mentally, though, advanced understanding of how to play the game. And there's the call on DeAndre Jordan. That's his first foul. That's his first foul. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Capella with the bucket. I love what Capella brings to the game. Tough, physical, strong, relentless. Got to respect what he does on these contact finishes. Now here's Barnes. He drains it from 17 feet out. Barnes has got nine points now in just the second half. The entire defense was frozen footed. Nobody picked up the shooter, Kevin. Paul against Smith. Here's Anthony. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got three assists now in this one. Paul against Smith. Anjic passes to Jordan. 13 feet away. Doncic, no good. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Houston Rockets. Inside, Chris kicks to Paul. Houston moving the ball around. To the paint, trying to find Green. He's got it now. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. They know he's looking for him, so it's easy to see why Paul's teammates love him. Here's Smith. Pass to Powell. And here is Doncic. And Anthony sends it back. There's Green with the three. Barnes grabs the miss. The Mavericks have gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. And stolen by Chris. Now here's Paul. Green finds Capella. Here's Anthony. Back to Capella. Just four to shoot to take the lead. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Boy, and Clint Capella. C squared, a late first-round pick in 2014. Viewed by most as a project but the analytics community ranked him highly. No surprise then that the Rockets snapped him up and they got a steal. They love the analytics approach in Houston. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And Capella, a mobile, rim-running big man. The Rockets feel, Clark, he's the prototype center for their system. Well, you think about it, Kevin. He's still in his early 20s. He's a starting center on a powerhouse team. And I think he's their third most important player. And the Rockets making a change here. And this is jacked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Well, I tell you what, it's really impressive how Capella has improved his role so quickly, Kevin. I mean, he's a starting caliber center known for his defense, but continues to make strides on offense, too. Buries the long-range jumper. Doncic has got six points in the quarter. He didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first, 
But the defense left him a look, and he nailed it. He'll make them pay when he's open. To the middle. Here's Capella. It's rebounded by Dallas. Here's Doncic. Short. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And now it's a three-point Dallas lead. Yeah, Jordan is aggressive as a rebounder. He uses his massive body, athleticism, and long arms to wreak havoc on the glass. And Jordan sends it back. And they get it back. Capella with the bucket. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Smith against Paul. Here's Doncic. That shot misses. Good work defensively by Capella. Ennis passes to Paul. He dishes it to Capella. The three from Anthony. Powell pulls it in. Powell's got six rebounds now in the game. Smith outside. A 15-footer. That one off the back iron and out. Houston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Ennis kicks to Paul. There's the pass to Carmelo. Here's Chris. Rockets keep it going with the new 24-second clock. Oh, I tell you what, Clint Capella does a really good job of playing with such energy and effort, particularly on the glass, and because of that, he can hurt you on the boards. Now, here is Smith. Barnes outside. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. That's 28 points for Harrison Barnes. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Here's Ennis. Paul outside over Smith. The shot by Paul, no good. For Dallas, they've gone 6 of 13, so just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Smith, the pass to Doncic. Powell kicks to Doncic. High arcing shot. Back to Powell. In the corner, Smith with it. Tries again. Good work defensively by Capella. And I think all the credit goes to the defense there, Kevin. Exceptional job getting the shooter to rush that layup. Anthony can't hit. The Mavericks leading. Here's Doncic. His three-pointers off the mark. And wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. Gordon's checked in for James Ennis. And Dallas with a change here, too. Matthews, he's checked in for Doncic. Powell with the steal. Matthews dishes to Powell. Smith the pass to Powell. Crystal blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And you know, Kevin, Dwight Powell's combination of athleticism and focus allow him to score despite getting bumped around. Dwight Powell, a nice player who has carved out a good role for himself on this team. You can start him if you need to, Clark, or he'll give you a spark off the bench. I think his greatest value is, though, bringing that spark off the bench. I mean, some guys are just as productive in limited minutes as they would be in starting minutes, so he's one of those kinds of guys. He's excellent at finishing around the rim and creating havoc with his activity at both ends of the floor. And that one misses. The length and mobility of, of Powell is, is really impressive. He's a solid big guy who I think continues just to get better at both ends. Now here's Anthony. Here's Gordon. And it's in there. A delicious dime from Chris Paul there. Now Smith. Outside Matthews. 
Smith with it. Back to Matthews. Lock at six. Takes a three. Here's Jordan. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And this spot has always been Jordan's biggest drawback. Uh, he's never been able to make his free throws at, at even a modest rate, and teams are never afraid to put him on the line. And DeAndre Jordan this last offseason opting out of his contract with the L.A. Clippers. He felt, Greg, obviously it was time to move on. It didn't take long for Jordan to find a new home here in Dallas. Had almost Absolutely. signed with them Two last shots. time he was Two a free shots. agent. Closed the deal this time around. Still has a lot to offer and a really good fit for this team inside. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. Well, they should be looking at a three-point lead, hopefully for them. That miss won't cost them. Barnes against Paul. Here's Anthony. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. Yeah, just superb focus there for Melo. Overpowering the D and still finishes. Matthews with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. Gordon against Matthews. Pass to Jordan. The kick out to Barnes. Smith outside. Dallas needs to get off a shot. And stolen by Chris. To take the lead. And it's Anthony getting it to go. And the Rockets lead by two. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stance for the Rockets. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. There's been an attack mode on the defensive end. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnovers. No backing away from the big moment from Smith. He knows when things are tight, he can deliver big baskets. Anthony against Barnes. Here's Paul. Again, the Rockets score. Tell you what, it's pretty obvious why CP3 is the man they rely on in these big moments. I mean, he's courageous, fearless, and productive. 13 feet away. And good. You got the English that time as it falls. And that's 15 points for Carmelo Anthony. Mavericks trail by four. Smith on the wing, defended by Paul. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Boy, you've got to do better than that against Smith Jr. Be careful how you defend him inside. Shooting for Dallas. Dennis Smith. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Boy, the speed and shooting Smith possesses is dangerous. I mean, a speedy point guard who continues to get better. And the second free throw, good. Here's Paul. Feeds to Capella and stolen by Jordan. And here comes Smith leading the fast break. And the dunk by Powell. And Powell unafraid to take big shots. Fully confident in his ability to knock him down. Gordon with it. Matthews covering. 
Gordon finds Capella. He's looking for Gordon and finds him. Shock up two there. Gordon's got four this quarter. Watching Gordon go to work in moments like this, priceless. Shows he's not afraid to take big shots. Paul with the steal. Drops in the breakaway layup. And it's a five-point rocket lead. Just so reliable. I mean, that basket there will give them a little bit more of a cushion. Outside Matthews. 125 left to play in the final quarter. Here's Powell. Jordan kicks to Barnes. Just five to shoot over Anthony. It's rebounded by Houston. And the defense that time was late. And you got to feel fortunate he didn't put that one away. Took him no time at all on that one. 17 points for Chris Paul. You know, I don't care how tight you play him. It's very hard to keep Paul from knocking that shot down. His in-between game is lethal. Two shots. Gets the first, and that turns the lead to six. And so he makes both from the line. The lead's not looking as comfortable after those free throws. Nice job. Rockets leading by five. And it goes out of bounds. That one is off Smith. Houston's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. That free throw good from Gordon. And you know, when Gordon is healthy, he's extremely effective. I mean, he's a high motor player who strokes it well from deep, actually strokes it well from everywhere. And the Mavericks call time here. They trail by eight. 50 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, James Harden. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. Taken away by Anthony. 44 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Passes it to Paul. In the corner, it's Gordon. Lock at six. For the three. Powell pulls it in. Dallas with the ball. Trailing here by eight. The kick out to Matthews. Dallas moving it around. And a miss there on the triple. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Paul outside. So we see the Rockets get the win here. 
some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. James, congrats on the win. What got it done for you at the end tonight? Uh, just being aggressive. I told uh, my guys on the court that we had to make a run, and it had to be a good one. Uh, defensively, we, we did a pretty good job uh, down the stretch. Um, we got some shots to fall, and uh, we came with the victory. Great play tonight, James. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you later.